with our special guest, the one and only Kevin Fidlone, or KFED. Good morning, Kev. How you guys doing? Good. 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 How's the ticker, firstly? Because oh, that was big tabloid news over here. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it was big everywhere, I think. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's all right. Yeah, um, you know, something that I thought was really bad at first, but it turned out that it wasn't that bad at all. So, so you just, just chest pains? Is that... Uh, no, my, my actual, like, pulse rate was up and I only worked out for a couple of minutes and it took about 45 minutes for my pulse rate to go down so I was really nervous about that yeah and when I saw the medic you know they're really cautious with us so he was like look just go get it checked out just to be safe yeah and from there it took off and was worldwide news <laughs> <laughs> now Kayfi you're a young man it was a bit of a wake-up call uh, I mean, it was scary, you know, it was it was one of those things where, I mean, you just never imagine something like that happening to you, mm. um, but thank God it wasn't anything to do with my heart. Yeah. Yeah. So you've ended up on excess baggage, and you used to be sort of a backup dancer, so into health and fitness and all that sort of stuff. Yes. Where did it sort of start to slide, do you reckon? Well, I mean, I've always eaten whatever I wanted, so, you know, dancing just kept the weight yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And that's pretty much it. So once I stopped dancing, I, I kept eating what I wanted and yeah. got fat, mm. real fat. Could you all been through that? We're sort of starting to get well, look at me when you say that. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is your, I suppose, second health fitness type TV show. Yeah. You did Celebrity Fit Club in the US. Yes. It, so had you hit a another all-time weight goal and gone, oh, well, this is not too good? Yeah, I mean, I've gone, you know, from from gaining it to losing it to gaining it again. Um, after Fit Club, I was down, I, I was feeling great. Mm -hmm. And then I injured myself and pretty much used that as an excuse to just get big again. So this time is like do it or die pretty much. So the main thing now is retraining yourself, isn't it, with, with your diet? Because I was like you, I, I played sport and I could eat whatever no. I want. And Have I you was not heard about Greg Blue? World's no. greatest cricketer. Amazing. Right here. No, no. Anyway, I, I've always been quite thin, but you know, once you, I try and eat properly now, you know, yep. stick to mainly protein, low carbs, all that sort of thing. So, but it's hard, isn't it? Retraining it how, is. how you eat everyday it life. Is. It's completely, I mean, it's a lifestyle change, you know, it's, it's just something that has to be done as you mm. get older. Otherwise, you know, you're setting yourself up for big health problems when you get older. Mm. Can I ask you very quickly about Darren Lyons, who's on the show, Excess Package? Yeah. What has he done to, has he, he like had implants in his stomach to get a six pack? What is that? I don't know. I don't know if, if anybody will ever hear any truth to what it <laughs> is because I've heard so <laughs> many different stories. But, um, I mean, hey, you know, it's like, I look at it like, Women do things to make themselves feel better when they get older, yep. and yeah. so maybe that's his, you know, the man thing to do. He looks like a ninja turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody says that, it's hilarious. How are you getting on with uh, all your, the people that are in the, the competition? Who's your... Really, who you really get on good. with most, do you reckon? I mean, I get along with everybody. Everybody's really good, but uh, my best bud on the show was Brent, Re Brent Webb. Okay. The minor. Oh, the minor. Yeah, he's... he's Really incredible. Did person. you have any idea of any of these people that you were going to be on the show with before you came up? I had no idea. I didn't know <laughs> anybody. I, you know, it's like one of those things you feel so bad because it's like at least you could like look people up, but I didn't yeah. even know. They didn't give me names of anybody. They didn't tell me anything until I yeah. got to Sydney and I met everybody all at once and they pretty much had to do the once around the table and like explain who they are and what they okay. know, what they're known for. Us. Okay. True. All right. Well, we've got a little test for you coming up very shortly. It's called Does K-Fed Know His Co-Stars? Do you want to stick around for that? Sure. All right. Beautiful stuff. Uh, K-Fed, our special guest this morning from Excess uh, Baggage. Been in Australia now for a couple of months. Yes. Let's go back a couple of years because we've got to ask a question. I mean, you are the ex-husband of Britney Spears. Yeah. How long are you guys together for? Uh, gosh, about three years. This? It was, <laughs> yeah, it was at one time. Because yeah. I don't know if you noticed here, but we've got Jody obviously, and her Ex-husband Greg. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Could you ever imagine doing a radio show with Brittany? Uh, no. Well, now I probably could, you know, but in the past, no way. Was, <laughs> yeah. I, Mate, I'm just filling in. Don't worry. <laughs> 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 you argue much? No, no, not anymore. Um, <laughs> I mean, you know, every everybody argues, so I mean, it wouldn't be fair to say that we never did, but yeah. um, 
Yeah, no, I mean, it, nowadays it's a lot better. I mean, time heals all it wounds, does. so yeah. it's, it's a lot better. I think when you first book, I don't want to speak for you, but when you first book and everything's raw and it's really hard, but then time passes and you do start to heal, and especially when there's kids involved, mm, you've got to get along, don't you? Right, yeah, exactly. I mean, that's it. You know, me and her, we really, we're, we're doing good together to make sure that the boys are, are okay. Yeah. That's so cool. All right, we've got a little game we'd like to play with you now, Kate. Mm -hmm. It's called, does K-Fed know his co-star? So we've got some little audio grabs for you. You have to identify who each of your co-stars are on this show because you've already admitted that you didn't know who anyone was before <laughs> yeah. you first came over yeah. here. All right, first one. First one. That's <laughs> dip, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he says his name. In it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. I know. That's pretty well, you can't miss one. that, though. No, He's exactly. got a strong accent. Right. Here we go. Uh, that's Kate. Good boy. Yeah. Got that well correct. Done. Well done. This one. That is Christine. Oh, he's Jeez. good. Not bad. Last one. Who's is that? Soprano. Yeah. Four from four. Four from four. That's well awesome. Done. Congratulations. So, mate, today you're off to Kangaroo Island. That's your prize. You're off to Kangaroo Island. <laughs> <laughs>